Hi there, I'm Pratik Singh. And in this video, we're going to talk about the key assumptions of technical analysis. Now, technical analysis has a few key assumptions. And let me explain this with a quick analogy. Imagine in October 2019, unseasonal rains destroy onion crop. It disrupted the harvest and trimmed the supply of the market. Now, as soon as this happened, the agents or the middlemen who buy onions from the farmer and sell it in the market actually repriced the onions and increased it because they know that the number of onions in the market will reduce because the rains were unexpected. Now, the middlemen did not question why the rains happened. He simply reacted as soon as the event happened. All he knew is that unseasonal rains will cause less harvest, hence the price of onions should rise. Given the unseasonal rains and how it continued, the agents actually continued to price it upwards. So because of this news, the high price trend continued until new information or new news hit the market and the price trend would possibly change. Now, let's imagine that in October 2030, almost 10 years into the future, the same thing happens. There's unseasonal rains, harvest of crop decreases, a lot of the crop is destroyed. What do you think will happen? Well, the agents, even in the future, will actually price the onions higher. You've probably seen this before. Market participants and analysts will say expect a 10% rise in profits for PD Light and PD Light actually posts a 10% profit, which means that people will price the stock in expectation of that news. And when the news releases, there is no change in price. So the market actually discounts everything before it happens in anticipation of some news, just like the agent did when he heard about the rainfall and repriced the onion prices. The second point is how is more important than why? Most of the times in the markets, price will move way beyond actual news that hits the market. And you should just look at price as a technical analyst. Just like the agent only reacted to the news and didn't wonder why the monsoon came late or early. The third point is that price moves in trends. Just like we saw the onions trending upwards, we've also seen the Tata Motors example where markets were moving in a particular trend at a period of time. In fact, if I open Tata Motors right now and open, say, the weekly chart, I can see from April to July, the markets were actually in an uptrend. The final point is that history tends to repeat itself. Now, this could be true in many different forms. I'll give you one example for this. Imagine there's a stock which falls 10% in a single day. And during the same day, it actually recovers and moves 15% up. That means at the end of the day, there was a 5% gain despite that huge fall. Now, this would look something like this. In candlestick patterns, this is called a hammer and usually means that there was more buying interest despite huge selling. And generally, whenever this happens, it's considered that the market might continue to move upwards in the short term. So just like that hammer pattern, we expected the market to move up. It's exactly like how we saw in the onion prices, which reacted in the same way in 2019 and in 2030. These form the core assumptions of technical analysis. And what we'll do in the next video will actually excite you. We'll talk about candlestick patterns, at least a primer before we go deeper into it in this technical analysis module. The key takeaways from this video are, 